Now turning our attention to Macworld Expo, which has not yet happened as of the recording that I'm doing here, I'm going to show you websites that will be able to give us the latest scoop as it happens, or, or near that, such as Steve Jobs' keynote address. However, some sites that one might expect to be helpful simply are not. Let's check out what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and open up some preloaded web pages here. The first would be Apple's website itself, apple.com. Well, during the actual keynote, this will be blanked out. This will be under construction and we'll get no information. However, if you were then to uh, look into it during the actual uh, Macworld, not during the keynote, but other times, you might want to come and check out the hot news headlines. The problem with this is these are not going to be really that up to date. Apple then, you know, of course, filters out what they want to give out, and these are timed for them, not for the uh, average Joe's. They won't have reports from the show floor. So I wouldn't go to apple.com. Macworldexpo.com might be their next attempt. And here, this is kind of like the CES webpage we saw earlier, but here we also then you can uh, register and get information about exhibitors, etc. I don't think that's going to be very helpful either. The best place will be Macworld.com. Here Macworld.com will have people that will be typing in the data as they listen to the keynote. Or they'll be walking around and as you can see over here, they'll be having their live podcast each day and they'll have video podcasts that will be done. I believe those are not every day. Those are done frequently, however. That'll be a great source of uh, information. Another wonderful site is MacRumors.com. You can see they are so geared up, they're even counting down the days. Four days, nine hours, six minutes until Macworld SF 2008 keynote. Oh, that's amazing. Those guys are really ready to go. They do have full coverage, though, at this link. If you go to MacRumors.com slash MWSF. And they will have, as they mentioned here, information not only uh, on the website, but if you have an iPhone or have SMS, you can get information there as well. Let's move on then to MacInTouch.com. MacInTouch.com will also be doing a great job. They've been doing this since 1994. You can see it right there, 1994. And they also, uh, when they're not doing this kind of thing, will have information, as you see here, about reports from well, people who have had issues with software or hardware. And you just pick the links are, and you can follow the threaded information. This has been a real lifesaver when I've uh, had struggles to problem solve some of my own issues on my computer. The Mac Observer at MacObserver.com will be doing also coverage. And uh, I just want to let you know that if you click this button here, you can get their reports already that they're doing. And, you know, they're, of course, not live, but they will certainly be active when the show is going on. Moving on to a different one, this is twit.tv, thisweekintech.tv, and this is a, a genius uh, network of podcasts by Leo Laporte and friends. They have their flagship called This Week in Tech over here, and if you click that, you'll be able to get their latest video, or excuse me, audio podcast. Uh, this one, of course, is not current. This is December 24th. They took a hiatus for the Christmas season. But I would imagine that if you go to MacBreak Weekly, that they'll have a lot of information going on. Of course, of course now this one's also out of date at this moment because of the, the holiday. But they are going to have the Twit characters, the folks at, uh, this week in tech, will be having a, a, a soundstage on the east part of Moscone Center and will be broadcasting all of their, their different programs. And here's a little tidbit of information that they uh, often do. Leo Laporte really loves to then not only broadcast audio, but he loves Ustream. I'm going to go ahead and type in Ustream.tv and we'll check out Ustream.tv. Ustream is actually a place where one can get live oh. video. And he doesn't hit these uh, slow. <laughs> so there's actually some people it's not playing pocket pool. Speed. It's going to bounce out know. if it doesn't get in. You never know what you're going to find. But he's hidden it behind the stack. Get in my... I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Now, as you see this, which is interesting, is that Ustream 
decides what will be on the front page. And there's nobody really having any control except for the, the creators of Ustream. But I imagine when Macworld goes on that they will have, if Leo Laporte is broadcasting using Ustream, they'll have that on the front page. But if not, you can always hit the live uh, section and check it out. See what's being broadcast live. And if that's not enough, you can always search. But let's just say here, go to the Chris Perillo show. Okay, for coming up at the one time and you're using a mouse is not fair. Google this. Come on. So here's Chris Perillo. He's actually in uh, the process of doing some work on his uh his okay. computer. It's 11, Mrs. Ford. First attempt. But he's not actually good? broadcasting and interacting with people. If you notice, there is comments going on here that actually come from here. So I can type in something. So, Chris, thanks for the show earlier this evening. Type that in. Well, I can play that all weekend because Jessica's on the plane to Paris right now. And then it shows up here eventually. Look, he's so and so. But the advantage is I'm free of all home duties for the weekend. No chores, no hoovering, no washing up. So there you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. He's again not interacting with anybody other than his own work. But that is a great way then to pick up things uh, that might be live. Let me go back to the home section here. Okay, see that, that solves the mystery. And pause that. And if you're not sure, if you're looking for a twit, you can always just go up here and say search here, T-W-I-T, -T, hit enter. And you can see they have actually archived uh, shows from previous events. So that's another great way to then get information. Suppose that you didn't get to watch the Ustream broadcast of Twit, you can always go there and see what's going on after the fact. So there you have it, the unconference. John C. Dvorak was right when he said that events like CES are over covered and one doesn't even need to attend. Uh, well, I hope that I've given some credence to that theory. But then again, I must admit that bumping into Steve Jobs, as I did last year when I was covering some of the Macworld Expo personally, uh, that's not the same as just watching him in on video. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can always email me at fatherbill at fatherbill.org. And finally, this is Father Bill Holtzinger, Father Geek, and you've been watching Episode 8 of Father Geek's video podcast. I hope you enjoy your next unconference. SQPN, the best in Catholic podcasting.